Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. QuakePrediction.com is 10 14 in the evening on Wednesday, April 7th, 2021. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six areas of concern across the world uh, today. And we will get to those one by one. We're going to start with the California forecast, though. And here we go. Okay, let's go to the first forecast here. And this is uh, actually we are moving. Yeah, this is still about a little bit longer here. Uh, pretty high risk across the, the area northwest of LA and down to the Salton Sea. So we can still get a 3.0, 3.5 in this area in the next six hours or so. And then the risk gets pretty quiet after that. The 7th into the 8th of April, uh, especially toward the evening of April 7th, this risk begins to build up in the Northwest. And uh, especially by the 8th, the 8th and the 9th, we could get a 5.0 quake in the Northwest part of California here on April 8th or April 9th. And uh, we'll check back uh, with this uh, area on the 9th and the 10th. Things could be a little bit more high risk uh, on the April 9th or 10th. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. All right, let's go to the Alaska forecast. And we have uh, this is the forecast right now. So building in starting tomorrow, uh, we could get a significant earthquake, a 5.0 to 6.0 earthquake around the Anchorage to Valdez area during the next. So 24 to 36 hours. So keep an eye on that in Anchorage. And in the country of Chile, the risk has been in the far Northwest. And I think they got a 4.6 up in that area today. Let's see. Yes, 4.4. Four point four, they got up there today in that area of risk, right up in here. And then the risk is uh, diminishing after that. And it's not until April eighth into the ninth that a pretty high risk here uh, near the border of Peru and Chile in the far north. And we could get a five point zero to five point five in uh, southern Peru and northern Chile on the April eighth and April ninth. Over in uh, Italy, the risk is down here near Sicily, south of Sicily, and this is the seventh. Um, uh, right now, the risk is near Tunisia. And then on the seventh to the eighth of April, we have a risk near, risk near Bosnia and Croatia here. 65 point, uh, kind of a low risk there. 65%. And then April 8th into the April 9th, we have a high risk down near the southern portion uh, of Italy, 85%, 85% that could produce a 4.0 to 4.5 in southern Italy on April 8th and April 9th. All right, and then uh, let's look at Japan. This is uh, about to happen any minute now. And this is the 6th to the 7th. Right now it's uh, about Two in the afternoon in Tokyo on April 7th. And this forecast is valid through the 7th. We're looking for a 5.5 to 6.0 in the area around Hiroshima to Osaka. And the risk extends up into Shizuoka and Nagoya as well. So be on alert in Japan for that uh, earthquake should happen any minute, um, most likely on April 7th. And then the risk moves offshore after that, after that earthquake hits. All right, in the Philippines, the risk is mostly in the far north on this forecast, and then the 6th to the 7th, and the 7th to the 8th, all from the northern Philippines, 8th to the 9th, high risk in the far, far north part of the Philippines. 
All right, and the Athens Greece forecast. Right now, actually during the next about six hours, uh, six to 12 hours, we can get something up here northwest of Athens. 5.0 is possible in that area. And then the risk gets kind of quiet. On the 7th and 8th, 7th into the 8th of April, uh, this could produce a 3.5 or so up near Istanbul. And then uh, quiet after that. A little bit of high risk in northern Albania on the 8th and the 9th. Central America, the risk is centered around uh, Costa Rica right, right here, Costa Rica and western uh, Panama. Uh, this is a risk on the 6th and the 7th as well. And we could get a 5.0 to 6.0 in that area during the next uh, 36 hours, April 7th to April 8th. Same area near Costa Rica, a 5.0 to 6.0 is possible in that area. And then the 8th and the 9th, the risk dissipates. So in the next 36 hours, looking for a significant earthquake in Costa Rica. All right, Indonesia. This is an interesting forecast because the risk is building uh, across Indonesia. Right now, the risk is kind of scattered across the northern Sumatra. And then on the 7th and the 8th, we could get a uh, 5.0 uh, just north of uh, Jakarta, Indonesia here, uh, northeast of Jakarta, and this north of Java, this island here. And then uh, April 8th and April 9th, uh, very high risk across the northwest of Jakarta, Indonesia, and southern Sumatra. This could produce a 5.5, 6.0 on April 8th into the 9th. So keep an eye on that. Southern Sumatra and even close to Jakarta, could even hit close to uh, Jakarta as well. Taiwan, very high risk uh, just north of Taiwan and west of Okinawa here. And this area can produce a 6.0 earthquake north of Taiwan and west of Okinawa during the next uh, 48 hours. And that risk lingers in that same area on the 8th into the 9th. Seattle, Washington, the risk is uh, right around Seattle right now. And then on the 8th into the 9th, uh, Oregon is the area of risk on the 8th and the 9th of April. All right, over in Turkey, and Cyprus and Iraq, the risk has been, as you, if you watched our video yesterday, we mentioned Iraq and Southeast Turkey. Well, let's go see what happened there today. And if you can see here, we'll zoom into that area. And here it is, 5.3 earthquake hit in Northeast Iraq, and we were talking about that yesterday, right here in, in Northeast Iraq with a 95% risk area, also a 98% risk on this forecast here. So uh, just exactly as uh, we forecasted and warned for that area, Northeast Iraq and Southeast uh, Turkey, got that 5.3 lake. In the Caribbean, we warned yesterday, very high risk near uh, Puerto Rico and Guadalupe. And sometimes the risk spills over into other areas. And we check right now here. And uh, we got a 4.6 4. earthquake uh, near Port-au-Prince, uh, Haiti, Haiti, on, uh, uh, during this forecast period, which is uh, a little bit out of our forecast warning area, but sometimes it does that. It'll spill off into other areas, but most likely uh, the risk was up in this area. Now the uh, risk is out in the northeast, Lesser Antilles from uh, Guadeloupe to Montserrat and Dominica, down to Martinique, right here. If you can get a 5.0 in that area. And then after that, the risk diminishes and then builds into the Haiti area uh, on the 8th and the 9th of April. New Zealand, very high risk. Uh, this is the 4th of the 6th, and then the 6th of the 7th. 
here we are right now. Uh, this is the morning area right now. It is the afternoon of the seventh right now. So this is a very valid forecast. Looking for a, uh, a 6.0 earthquake as possible in far northern New Zealand during the next 24 to 36 hours, north of Wellington near the far north um, during the next 36 hours. So look out for that in northern New Zealand during the next 24 to 36 hours. And Peru, Ecuador, Peru forecast. Here's a forecast for the 6th to the 7th of April. And we will check that real quick. There was a, uh, let's see here. And here we go. 4.8 earthquake hit in Northwestern Peru right there. Northwestern Peru and uh, risk is the act, actually the quake hit right in this area right here, 95% risk area, right in our high risk area. And then on the 7th to the 8th, the risk moves down uh, west of uh, Lima, Peru. And the 8th and the 9th, uh, as we mentioned in the Chile forecast, we get a 5.0 to 5.5 in southern Peru on April 8th into the 9th. Once more to the uh, Los Angeles forecast. And of course, we've got that warning for Japan out. Um, it's typically good at 3.0, 3.5 in Southern California. And then the risk diminishes after that. And then on the 8th into the 9th, we could get a 5.0 in the far Northwest part of California on April 8th or April 9th. So once again, a, a review of the uh, warnings across the world. Um, Japan, we get a 5.5 to 6.0 down near uh, Hiroshima to Osaka during the next uh, 24 hours or so. The Philippines have high risk of very far north. Taiwan, we could get a 6.0 uh, north of Taiwan and west of Okinawa. In the Caribbean, uh, High risk out near in the Lesser Antilles, we get 5.0 out in Guadeloupe. And New Zealand, if you get a 6.0 earthquake uh, up in the very far north part of uh, New Zealand. And in Peru, if you get a significant earthquake, 5.0, 5.5, just west of uh, Lima, Peru, during the next 36 hours. Thanks for watching today. QuakePrediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. Uh, again, we will talk to you tomorrow, Wednesday, and give you an update on the forecast. If you haven't subscribed, please do it. And uh, thank you so much for your support. 164, 165,000 followers now on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And a big thank you to every single one of you across the world. We really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you tomorrow. And have a good night. And God bless you.